Ooh. this say cheese shit. Isn't this shit like federal? And, uh, What's the deal? You know, we we've been back and forth in the DM for a little minute, but Wait, uh, you did? Yeah, we watched it earlier. Uh, not the whole video know, though, because nigga, me, I didn't understand what the fuck was. You going told on. me something this weekend through the. You DM, watched it after I played two K. It was something that you wanted posted, but I felt like oh, before I watched we should one of those. we should do it in an interview format because I felt like oh, no, the it post too. made you look like a bitter rapper. But as you kept explaining to me, it was like. All right, it's some real substance in this situation. Yep. So let's start off from Nigga, you rapping and you. A scammer made a million dollars and didn't give him anything. Promise me fifty k. Like obviously, nigga, a scammer, nigga. Doing your thing. You <laughs> He'll scam anybody. Don't matter if you fuck with so him or not. So pretty much, it all started. I say I, I popped out like twenty fourteen. I was like the first scam rapper to actually tell you how to make some money in the song. Is so, this in Detroit or in the game, period? Like, in Detroit. Well, in the game, period, at that time. Because wasn't nobody rapping about that shit at that time but me. So, we could say the whole game, I was the first scam rapper, bro. No cap. And it was a couple other people like Band Gang and shit. But they was around the same time as me. So, we was all pushing that shit. But right. it all started off. It's crazy. Nobody ever knew this. Like, the way I met TJ, bro, he was a fan, bro. No cap. Like, he came into my DM like, I fuck with you, bro. Video called me, so the nigga video called me. Well, I'm not interested in this story, and I don't even know who the fuck this is. But nigga, he made a million dollars, two thousand dollars. Well, the person that's he showing me the money and shit. But the nigga, like 13, 14, we just showing each other money and shit. He like, I fuck with your music, blah 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 blah. So make a long story short, like another two years, I was like, he was really working for me, like no cap, like. I had plays on the floor, and I put him on the plays, and he was like working a little, you know, doing a little scam shit for me and shit. We was making a couple dollars together or whatever. So how the shit all just went from there, they were seeing me getting noticed at the store. and Okay. So you put him on this shit. Every day. Well, just you already had bands at like 12, 13. So you ain't really, but you gave him okay, some so plays. So they like shit. All right. I want to I do that too. I want people to know right. me too. So he like, what should I make my Instagram name? Because people don't even know his name, not TJ. His real name, some whole other shit. His okay. name ain't nothing with TJ in it. Nothing with a T, nothing like that. Nigga, that's so good, nigga. <laughs> he's like, what should I make my name? Stop snitching. So we end up coming up with the name, and the nigga made an Instagram. So from there, he started rapping, but it wasn't getting no attention. Like, with y'all posting it and all the other people, it wasn't getting no attention for a minute. We was just on the underground doing it. Like, I was pushing them because I was the bigger one out of me, Kevin, TJ. So how it all went from there, shit, we made the Dynamic Duo song. And that bitch blew up. It got 4 million views right now on my YouTube channel, so. Yeah, one and two doing doing good numbers. Yeah, they doing good numbers. So how we came up with that, basically, we was in the studio. We missed our flight to Miami. We ain't never caught a flight a day in our life. We got a promoter trying to book us for a show. We new to the game, so like we don't know what's going on. We ain't never been out of town before. Okay. This like three years ago, so we had a promoter ready to book us for for the show or whatnot. We missed our flight because we got to the airport late. So I'm like, the next flight ain't until like six more hours. So we finna okay. sleep in the studio and make a song. So we slept in the studio and made Dynamic Duo. It took a How do big rappers even become big rappers? They hacking? <laughs> Not that ass. You really just need to get that buzz. Once you get that, once you get that single, because I ain't gonna lie, there's a lot of rich. Well, I want to say rich, but there's a lot of rappers out there with fame, clout, whatever you want to call it. They got jewelry, they got the look, and they got some songs that's buzzing. But you just don't know about them because they didn't get that hit hit song yet. It's mad about rappers five out there. Hours. Like that. But as we making the song, we talking about everything. But basically. Like you think a motherfucker come out? Uh, you see, you know who designer is? He made Panda Panda. Uh, that's a nigga that just came out of nowhere. Like, he made songs before, but that shit wasn't getting no buzz and no views. He made Panda that blew up his career. But there's niggas out there that actually already got buzz and shit like that, and they popping, but the world just don't really know about them like that because they didn't get that hit hit song yet. So once they got that hit hit song, it is over. They superstar. Like, yeah, this song gonna blow us up. Niggas. We gonna get rich. We gonna do this. We gonna do that. And two days later, it it just happened. Like it was a dream. It just happened. Everything start blowing up. Damn. So it was like niggas niggas missed their flight. Went to the stool. Two days later, they just started blowing up. Like 
I wasn't hating because it was my bro. I wasn't hating. He started, like, surpassing me. But that's the game, though. It's a lot of artists who surpassed me that was that was in my DM asking me for features and shit. Like, I can name a few. You feel me? Y&J, Rio, like, all them, we, they was already knew who I was. You feel me? So right. when TJ surpassed me, I wasn't tripping. I wasn't tripping on the situation, whatever, whatever. I was just pushing. So that's after that, the bad came. So I remind you, we talking about all this. You know, niggas ain't where they was at right now. Money, like our money situation. We just, we got a couple dollars. We just pushing, investing into the music, trying to get to where okay, we at right okay. now. So we talking about everything. This is why I feel like he a whole ass nigga. I ain't on no pocket watch and shit. You ain't got to throw me no money out the million dollars you got. Let's just build something. You know what I'm saying? So niggas start acting funny. Like he got the money and the nigga called me the day to check it. Like I just got that. I just got that. Because I had a feature deal on my page. They called him and just said, yeah, my million just got in my bank account. Damn. Just imagine, bro. Yo, Kezo, just imagine that million dollars just hit your bank account, whatever big check, whatever, you feel me? I think oh I had a deal God. for like 2000 I was like, if you're trying to get a feature in a video, 2000 tap in with me. So he personally called me like, delete that off your page. I'm like, what you talking about? And he sent me a screenshot of the bank account. You feel me? It's a million dollars in there. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm thinking he lying. It's a million dollars in there. The nigga telling me like, oh yeah, bro, I'm a cop. I'm gonna throw you like fifty thousand, bro. Get you a scat pack, all that. But he was telling me this before he got the bag. Like, you feel me? He was telling me that like, bro, I got this shit coming. You feel me? You, you, my man's. You, you stayed down, so I for sure got fifty racks for you off top when the bag come. So the nigga got the bag. I ain't gonna ask the nigga for no money because I'm. This why I don't promise a nigga nothing, bro. I don't promise a nigga nothing. You promised him 50 rags. Out. You, you touched the money, and now you... First of all, Chad, a million is not a lot. Well, I hate when people say that, so let me take that back. A million is a fucking lot, because I can use a million right now. You can use a million right now. Everybody can use a million. But people don't understand that a million dollars is not a million dollars, nigga. Depending on where you live, nigga, 40%, 50% tax, nigga. <laughs> that shit... And then after the tax, nigga, you got to buy yourself a home, nigga. Nigga, I don't know where y'all live, but homes out here, nigga, 200, 300K and that shit. And, and them shits be ass, nigga. So you, now you need a home. Now you need a home in a big, in a in a nice area because you popping off. You feel me? You don't need to be in the hood and no, feel me? So that's another however much you spending on it. And then you take care of your actual immediate family. Then you buy the nice stuff you want. And you're a rapper, so you got to get your jewelry and shit. Like, bro, after all of that, bro, you're not getting rid of another nigga 50K. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is why you can't promise a nigga nothing. Like, bro, don't stop speaking on shit until you actually receive your blessing and then do what you got to do, and then you can put people on. I'm still grinding, doing my thing. Mel is a lot, nigga. I know you a little bit. So I ain't finna, nigga. you know. I already you. stopped myself. I already corrected myself. For no money, I'm going to let you do what you do. So the bag came. Niggas start acting funny. I, I asked him to post my video on his page. Happy National Young Boy he Free Day, Zay. was good saying something? Don't even post my video, like my solo video, because he was already going crazy. So I'm like, I'm trying to get up there with you. He wouldn't even post my video, bro. This supposed to be my man's. The only way he'll post it, I'll run into him in the hood or something. Three days later, he'd be like, oh, yeah, my bad, bro. I forgot. I'm finna post it for you right now. I don't even want the post at that point, you feel me? And then he'll post it. So it's just a lot of fake love. So I was just letting that shit slide for months, bro. I'm just letting him get off. I ain't asked the nigga for a dollar, no money or nothing. So I come to him like, let's get a studio. It's only going to be like 30K. Let's get a studio, get equipment. We'll get a couple engineers and charge people to rent it out. He ain't even want to do that. He said he, say he was going to do it, but he ain't even want to do that. You feel me? So when the bag came, he just switched up. He wasn't posting my videos. Niggas ain't throw niggas no cheese. And how I feel, how we came up, bro, like... Like, this was my little bro. Like, he ain't had no money. Like, I was the one giving him money to smoke and making sure he eat every day. Him and Damn, that's fucked up. Nigga left his man's behind. But then again, there's always two sides to the story, bro. Then the nigga, the other nigga might say, nah, this nigga started moving funny. He kept asking for money. He kept doing that. He was like, nah, he wanted to get too clingy once he had shit and I got the money. Like, feel me? His girl, you feel you me? Like, know. just everyday lifestyle, you feel me? So how I feel, if I would have got an M, if the shoe was on the other foot, a million, I'm gonna throw bro 50k, and and bro, bro really deserve more than that. But I'm gonna throw bro 50k, and if you need something else, just just holler at me. We good, you feel See, me? See, just based off what he just said, you know it's two sides of the story, bro. He said, yeah, I'm gonna throw bro 50k. That was the agreed upon price. 
or whatever the cut or whatever it was. And he said, you know, because bro really deserved more than that. Like, what you mean? What you trying to say, nigga? It don't matter if you deserve three billion dollars, nigga. I agreed fifty k. That's how you know there's two sides of the story, just based on what he just. Now, said. I'm gonna throw bro fifty k, and if you need something else, just just holler at me. We good. You feel me? So, and it's the fact that you told me you were you were gonna give me fifty k. Yeah, true. It's not like I expected something. You yeah. told me that. I hate when that's why you niggas gotta keep their mouth shut. Cause a nigga like me, I don't ask for shit, nigga. And he's saying he ain't ask for shit. But you telling him he's going, you going to do all of this. And that's you know what I'm so saying? Is, is, is this a, funny. a label deal that was offered to him? Yeah, it was offered to him. It was a uh, Warner. Okay. And Re Real Lecker label. Okay. And it wasn't like, did you ever get any offers in that situation or? No, because they wasn't, he wasn't pushing me. The label knew who I was, but I just feel like all you had to do was say something. Because you under them now, they see everything that's going. It's like, I was feeling like I was getting black bar, bro. Like, even by you, bro. You was posting a nigga. I was DMing you like, post me. I ain't never had a say cheese post. So I was feeling like I was being black bar by nah, everybody. Nah, I, would, I, nah, I wasn't me? really like that. It just, yeah, um, damn. He calling out everybody. He was like, nigga, even you, nigga. You on my dick now. And you got this interview. And just, nigga, I was DMing you to get a fucking post. What happened? The only way $1 million is a lie is spending money, not tax money and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Nah, but either way, k Sons, either way, $1 million is a lot. It don't matter. It's just not a lot to be giving out 50 racks to niggas. Because, yeah, taxes, then home, take care of your family, make sure you're just situated. Like, if you have nothing and then you get a $1 million, you can't just be splurging on other niggas. But you if you already got shit, nigga, you already got, I mean, your life is already in great shape, nigga, and then you get a mil another million dollars, then yeah, nigga, that's a lot. That's a lot. Um, I don't know, you was in Once you get that million dollars, you're already about to upgrade your life. You're in a new tax bracket. Shit is different now. I'm like, like, passive aggressive. And I'm like, did I do something to do? So I always just sat you back just and just read the room. You know what I'm saying? It would, I never had, he never blackballed you or told me not to post you or anything, but it was just like, you was already mad at, you, it seemed like you was already mad at Say Cheese before we could even, you know, chop it up. Right. So I just yeah. let it be what it be. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel that for sure. So time goes by. Invest in, make, in Tesla and make bread. He gets the million dollars and you're for sure. I kind of want to watch the second part of this shit. I don't even know who this nigga is. <laughs> the million dollars. I saw this with my own eyes, bro. The but I know how y'all niggas be. I know how y'all be playing around and bro, trolling and shit. I saw this with my own eyes because we paid for an Airbnb in Cali and it was like 20,000. And I felt like it was petty because we stayed there for a month and it was the man gave us a deal for 20,000. He made me put 7K on it. So as he was wired, I wired transfer him the seven k, and when he was checking to see if it came or whatnot, I saw the money in the account, and I saw the money before that when he sent me a picture of the check. Like it's for show. It ain't no if ands or buts. Like it's for mm. show. You feel me? So months go by. I mean, How he do was you even start investing and do some research, but you know what I'm saying. I and just some. This is just some easiest. Ways you can just start, just download Robinhood, download Cash App. Cash App, I got invested in Tesla, Bitcoin. You know, Robinhood, I'm invested in that shit. Like, feel me? Just start on little shit like that. Do your research. You don't have to go too crazy. Don't lose no money, feel me? Yeah. Doing little shit, you know, like regular shit, but that was shit we was doing. Like, you ain't put me in a position, though. Like, you wasn't trying to get me no deal. Because if I would have got a, a deal for a million, I would have for sure told them, like, look, my bro TJ, he the one who on this song. You know what I'm saying? Like, put him, it ain't got to be a million, but get him something. You know, niggas, niggas ain't speak up. So that's why I feel like, like, if you would have spoke up, the label would have for sure, you know, I ain't had nobody speak up for me for real. Now, there are a lot of fans that are going to comment on this video and they're going to say, why do you feel obligated? Why did TJ have to? Because it's been times where I got plenty of people to deal and they ain't give me no money. And the fans will look at me like, Sean, you're not obligated. Why are you, you know, you sound bitter and you, you, you're a man. You got to get True. on your own. And Yeah, a lot of people say that, but it ain't about no money, though. It's like, it ain't even about the money. It's just about. The acting funny and not trying to promote me. I'm supposed to be your bro. You post my video a week later when I don't even need to post anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just the, the fake love 
fuck the money because you said you was gonna give me that. I ain't tripping on the money. I ain't asked them for a dollar. So it ain't for everybody that think like that. It ain't really about the money because I ain't asked nigga for a dollar. It's always about the money, but it's just the fact that nigga he ain't asked for the money, nigga. He the other nigga said it out his own mouth, nigga. That I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna give you this. I'm gonna give you that. Like nigga, what the fuck? And then you start moving funny afterwards, and they never gave him nothing. That's kind of fucked up. But let's get a studio. Let's like, get. I'm some a real nigga, bro. Like I just told you, because you gotta understand when he did say that, he said that before he even got no money. So once he did get hit with that million dollar check, reality set in, nigga. Niggas in his ear saying, oh, nah, you can't be just giving niggas this and that. Like I said, taxes, you're in a, new t you're in a different tax bracket. You got to take care of mama love, get a new house out the way, out the hood, nigga. This and that, you got to keep up your own image. That shit is gone, nigga. That shit is only for you now. But I would have just told my man straight up, yeah, but I ain't really got no 50K to be throwing, nigga. But my fault, gang, I... I and I would have never moved funny when I would have kept posting his music, nigga. I would have feel me. I would have never been doing all this weird shit to him. Some houses, less less investments or something. Yeah, you could definitely we... you could have definitely been investing in retail, flipping these old ass houses. Like niggas could have niggas the studio that nigga said he wanted to build. Like bro, I ain't gonna lie, that could have been crazy. Niggas was talking been about crazy. when we was fucked up. We ain't have a like, dollar. I can't give you fifty k, nigga, but we can flip some houses, nigga. We can flip. We can do the studio, nigga. Like feel me? I got to allocate my fifty k to something. Feel me? Something that's gonna really help us. That's different. Playing in our pocket, talking about. What we gonna do? So let's not that the situation came, nigga. Let's do it. You feel me? You don't just not really fuck with your bro and just start acting funny once when a couple of dollars come around. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. That's how I What's feel. What's good, Millie? How you doing today? You you streamed? Man, for real? You also you go on the internet a lot and you you say that uh he stole your flow. I don't say it, the fans say that. I don't say it. Because, you know, of course, if somebody around me, of course you still in my flow. We I don't care. You can steal my flow. Like, people don't even know some songs that he made, I'm damn near wrote that. Like some songs that he got, like Dark Web, that was my beat. I gave him that beat and the Nigga, concept no for that song. Me. I was right there. So a lot of people don't know most of the songs he did. I I, I don't like this. I don't like the way the second part is starting off. Yes. Chad Kwan says he finessed TJ6 for 30k. I ran off on him. Oh my god. So he felt like he was moving funny in the beginning. And then and then at this part he got his get back. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> nah, these is two scamming ass niggas. <laughs> I personally wrote some of that. How many people you need to play more? I, I did. He personally wrote some of that. That's just how I be. Like, you supposed to, you can, you're supposed to help each other out. So I ain't tripping on you stealing my flow. You my bro. So we gonna have the same song. Yeah. You know, for a while, a lot of the fans thought, you know, y'all were trolling. Like, it was a fake beef, and it... I ain't talked to that nigga in, like, nine months, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It ain't no fake. I ain't talked to him in, like, nine months, for real. Okay. When was the last straw? The last straw is when he got finessed. I finessed that nigga for 30K. Nigga said, like, at first he didn't want to say it was him. Like, nigga said, God bless you. He said, when he got finessed, <laughs> I finessed him for 30K. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> that was the last wait. straw right there when he got finessed for the 30K. So you finessed TJ for 30,000. Take us through that. Okay, so around the time we fell out, fell out or whatnot, Niggas was still cool, but we like we was still cool. But you know how you cool with somebody, but it's like I see how you I see how you acting, but like at least he admitted all right, it. you still around. Ain't nothing to lie, you bro. know what I'm saying? It was kind of like that. So I told the nigga pull up to the studio to do a video. I'm like, shit, I'm gonna bring like ten, fifteen thousand, bring like thirty thousand. We can have some money out. Do what we do. So the nigga go to the. How is it? Yours, you didn't have no towel. You didn't have no towel. Bank get the thirty thousand. He take pictures, 
Post it on to his Instagram 30K, and all that. How dumb are you? Yeah, that's what I'm about. To, I was just about to, but you know these rappers, they want to take pictures and shit. Like what he just said, you want to take pictures and shit. Like, yeah, we got the money, yo. Right. But if a nigga say, but bro, there's no way a nigga could tell me, yeah, I'm bringing 5, 10, 15K. We're going to take pictures to the store. Uh, you bring 30, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You bring 30, though. I'm going to bring 10K. Bless you. I'm going to bring 10K. You bring 30, all right? Nigga, I'm be like, what the fuck? No, I'm going to bring 10 too, nigga. So the nigga go I'm to the bring bank, 10 get the 30,000. He take pictures, post it on. Let me hear that shit Like, again. shit, I'm going to bring, like. I told the nigga pull up to the studio to do a video. I'm like, shit, I'm going to bring, like, 10, 15,000. Bring, like, 30,000. We can have some money out. Do what we do. So the nigga go to the bank, get the 30,000. He take pictures, post it onto his Instagram and all that. So I tell him, like, shit, let me see that 30,000 real quick so I can. Put that in the video because I was shooting a video. So I go outside to do the scene. He ain't thinking nothing of it because it's me. I told him, like, yeah, we finna go down the street and do the scene. Nigga said, go. <laughs> Bro, how you, you moving funny on a nigga? Or, or maybe on your side of the story, he's moving funny towards you. And nigga said, yeah, let me get your 30K and go down the street. Let me shoot this scene. You not even going to go with him to shoot this. Nah, bro. Niggas just sharing money, laugh my fucking ass up. Ain't nothing wrong with sharing money. <laughs> Listen, it's a music video, nigga. You need all the bread you can get in that motherfucker. <laughs> so we go down the street and do the scene. I just took the bag with the 30K, and I just I never pulled back up. He ain't never called me, text me. Nothing. Yeah, nigga, what, what for? He knew what it was. And you never know, bro. And you also never know. You never know. It, it don't sound like... I don't know. To me, it sounds like it could go both ways, bro. It sounds like it go both ways. It sounds like he finessed him, and he ain't call him and try to get his money back because he just knew what it was, or he was really giving him that thirty k. And he like feel me. He was giving him that thirty k because it's some shit I would do. Nigga. He was giving him that thirty k. Like, All right, let's see what you do, nigga. Let's see how you move against me. Since there's already some tension between us, let's see what happens, nigga. I'm the one in a better position. We ain't never got to speak again, regardless, nigga. And he just let him go off. You feel me? He was like, I bet. You see, he ne he said, you see how he said, oh, we were still around each other, uh, uh, but after that, they ain't speak for nine months, nigga. That nigga cut him off, nigga. This nigga got a million dollar deal while this nigga's still in the trenches. Nothing. He already wow. knew. If I lend someone 30 k go everywhere with you. <laughs> wow. What's up at that point? Wow. And so we even had a few words. I told him like, bro, if I catch you, I'm gonna take your your chain, your watch, whatever. What the fuck? When did when did these few words come? If he ain't never call you for the bread and all that, what was the point of taking the thirty thousand? Because I feel like you ain't investing to niggas. You ain't do nothing. You got a million dollars. You ain't throw me shit, even though you ain't obligated to throw me shit. But this is what you told me. You ain't you were the man of your word. And then So basically the first part was all good. You feel me? He was in the clear. I mean TJ was moving funny. Uh uh. Nigga was promising shit that he never did. He still ain't asked for nothing. Then he started moving funny on him. He ain't wanna invest with nothing. Uh uh. uh. And then the second video was like, I bet. You wanna be a bitch, nigga? <laughs> I can show you some bitch ass nigga shit and then he just finessed him and then now he making threats, I'm gonna take your chain. <laughs> I will never let no nigga hold my thirty k, <laughs> except my brother. Bro, there's no one in this world I'm letting hold my thirty k, nigga. And I'm gonna keep it fun. What? And me what? No, I said there's no one in this world I'm letting hold my thirty k. Yeah. Funky like nigga. No, I didn't say no exceptions. I said there's no one in this world I will let hold my thirty k. No, there's no exceptions. I'm saying. Out of everyone on the on the planet, right? Like seven billion of us and shit. Out of all seven billion, and I had thirty k, and I had to pick one person to choose to me. hold it. I'm choosing me, nigga, and that's it. But you gotta choose somebody who. Oh, so if it, if if you I'll... can't choose yourself. Okay, so if I had to choose somebody out of the seven billion people on this earth to hold my thirty k besides myself, nigga, I'm gonna eat it, nigga.
Ain't nobody Living touching out my of motels, money, bro. <laughs> that nigga was fucked up before he blew up. Where am I? Like, fuck is he talking Most about? Most of the shit was on his page. That was my shit. So he can hold my thirty k. I know. I know. I can't. You rich ass nigga. Vegeta rich. He ain't got no car. I was the nigga picking him up, taking him to all his plays. You feel me? So I just feel like me. you hold me for real, you nigga. I'm your yo <laughs> brother. I will blow Portland up, bro. Don't say, bro. I will blow Portland up, bro. Yeah. If your brother come up on a million dollars, your brother gonna give you some cheese. He gonna, or if he don't give you Portland no cheese, Portland Trailblazers, all of that shit, nigga. Do to my Oregon, nigga. Damian Lillard, all niggas of them niggas ain't bro. trying to put niggas in no position. Niggas just around. You feel me? So the thirty k, I felt like shit. You already ain't give me shit, so I'm finna. I ain't fucking with you no more. Let me hold your chains, eh? I'll let you wear my chain. Yeah, look, I'm gonna keep it real. He gave me, he gave me ten k one time. He gave me 10K one time. I'm Wait, hold on, hold on. The story is different. He shit. gave you 10K one time. So he did feed you a little bit, nigga. Like. Around, you feel me? So niggas ain't trying to put niggas in no position. Niggas just around, you feel me? So the 30K, I felt like shit. You already ain't give me shit. So I'm finna, I ain't fucking with you no more. And then look, I'm going to keep it real. He gave me, he gave me 10K one time. He gave me 10K one time. I'm going to keep it real since I'm keeping this shit real. He gave me 10K one time, but you know why he gave me the 10K? Because me and 10K Kev told him, like, bro, if you don't pull up with 40K by tomorrow, we ain't fucking with you no more. This six months after, he ain't getting niggas nothing. So me and 10K Kev, like, bro, we we talking to each other, like, bro, he got to give us something. So we His blood brother. That's his, that's his blood brother. Well, it's not his blood brother. TJ is adopted. Okay. You feel me? TJ, Kev, mom, and dad adopted TJ. And... He been around since then, but that's basically. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. See how it sounded all peachy in the first. See how it sounded all peachy in the first video. Oh, he put him on and shit. Uh, uh he made them songs. He gave him the beats. He was doing all this shit for him. And in the second video, he just so goddamn grimy, nigga. Like, yo, yo, blood brother, chat. Man. This been shit around is crazy. Since he was young. Mm. So like, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I believe everything this nigga say now. Like, he's leaving bits and pieces out, but I still believe him, nigga. Make a long story short or whatever, that was that. Maybe he felt like, you know how when you come home from school, you know you're going to wash the dishes. You know you're going to clean your room. You know walking home, you know after school you're going to go home, you're going to wash the dishes, you're going to clean your room. Change time to just chatting. But when your mom tell you to, it's like, man, fuck that, man. I feel pressure, man. People don't be people don't like being told what to do. So, in 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 mm. TJ's defense, maybe mm. he felt as though y'all were heckling him and bugging him and irritating him. And Cause that's what to, it sound like. Cause that's what it sound like. You saying, oh yeah, I never asked for nothing in the first video. Yo, people been following me this whole time, and I have not been saying thank you because my I don't know my my. My OBS is fucked up. My OBS is fucked up. So, uh, yeah. Just thank you to everybody. My fault. To force him to do something when, you know what I mean? It was like definitely it hasn't that. He was up definitely nothing. feeling like that. He was definitely feeling like that. Like, like, maybe you didn't give him enough time to sit back and realize he had the money. and. But after, and, seven, after seven months when you didn't blew it all, and I'm your peoples, you didn't, after seven months when you didn't blew it all, I'm going to keep it funky, bro. He ain't got no money right now. He ain't got no money right now, bro. He's doing bad. He don't have no money right now, bro. A million dollars? He don't have no money right now, bro. He's doing bad, bro. Since we keeping it funky and niggas want to be on whole shit, I'm going to keep it funky, bro. He's doing bad, bro. He don't this have no money, bro. I saw this crazy. with my own eyes. Nah, he been a villain. He been a villain. You got to understand, he was already a villain, nigga. And then he raised from me. He, he brought TJ into the fucking villain team. And then, yeah, nigga, these are just villains doing villain shit to each other, nigga. <laughs> man blew that. All that. That's gone. He blew all that. The label dropped him. That nigga doing bad, bro. I don't even care if he watched this interview, bro. Okay. I can't pick sides. Like, this is just what y'all got going on. Like yeah. I said, in, in, in TJ's defense, too, it's he Mikayla. gave you 50000 N is n niggas are never satisfied. N n niggers. He could have gave you the fifty thousand. You could have said hard R. Came up with something now. Niggas are never satisfied. He could have gave you the fifty thousand. You could have came up with something else. Right. Yeah. True. So it's like, and, and I'm only saying this because I know this how that interesting on God feels to. This is like the natural cycle of life. Like. 
the mic gets on and niggas feel obligated. Did you just? No. No, I just said it in the same accent. You know, I have a platform and you can yeah, do something niggas, for somebody yeah. and they keep wanting more. So, yeah. It, it, it's hard when you first get your first big bag, man. Yeah, you for know, sure. And, and he even called me and said that. Because the time me and Kev told him, like, you, if you don't if you pull up with 40K by tomorrow, we ain't even talking to you no more, bro. Because it's been seven months. You ain't look out. You ain't you ain't do nothing for niggas for real. So he pull up the next day with 20K. Like, I'm going to give you all the other 20K tomorrow or some bullshit like that. But you only gave t- us 20K because we told you we ain't fucking with you no more if you don't give us 20K. Yeah, yeah, definitely you know? when you, when you, when you, t- but that means you was really waiting on this shit though. Like, you know what's crazy? Bro, God knows, nigga. Like, you seen that you never asked for nothing, but that don't mean nothing, nigga. You was pl- like, you was waiting. You was like, yeah, you gonna give me that 50K. He gonna do this for me. He gonna do that for me. He gonna put niggas on. Like, I ain't gonna lie, your homie, your bro, the niggas that you made it out with, nigga, they definitely should be putting you on and feel me? Posting your shit, not doing no grimy shit, not leaving you behind, but bro, then they no one's obligated to do shit. And it seems like you, you've you been waiting for the nigga to pay you out for mad long, bro. I get watching all of that, nigga, after you said you wasn't. Tell somebody you're gonna give them something, you gotta honor that. Like, yeah, you, gotta you told me it. you was gonna. Don't give me 50000 like, and before this shit blew up and we blew up and all that, we literally had a talk, bro, for like four hours. Broke as fuck, bro, talking about this shit. Like, we finna blow up. Like, this shit finna happen. <laughs> and that shit happened two working. days later, bro. But the money didn't get in my hands. That's the thing. The money. Who is this nigga anyway? It says Cashier Kwan. I guess the big bro. Not big bro, but I guess the nigga that was helping for me. Giving, I don't know how to say it without being fed, but also, I mean, he was giving plays to TJXX. He got in his hand. The scammer rapper. Rappers, I ain't the rapper, none the of that. The money the got in his hand, so it went a whole different way. If the shoe was on the other foot, you got to be a man of your word, bro. You said you're going to get your bro 50K off a meal, which ain't bad. You still playing with 950, whatever. It was a meal and some change, so you... St- and that's how you know, niggas. That's what I'm saying. They was talking while they was broke as fuck. You heard what he just said? He said, you give me 50K. Look, you still got to play with 950. No, nigga. That's not what happened. You don't get nothing. <laughs> once you get that million dollars, once it's yours, you're in a different tax bracket. And they taking half. They're taking half, at least 40%, nigga. And then he got to get himself and his mama right, nigga. That's like 300, 400K. I was in a goddamn good neighborhood, nigga. Like, bro, that money's broke, nigga. <laughs> After that, a nigga is broke. Then he got to get his big chains and shit so he can look like the rapper part in his clothes. He said, bro, a car, nigga, after that, there's no, no 50K to give you, my boy. There's no 50K to give you. <laughs> you playing with your love? Whatever. That ain't bad. Say the me? chat. Get, I'm going to get off your back. What's, what's wrong with the chat? It's like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you. With that what 50K, the fuck? I ain't finna ask you for nothing. At least for a minute. I ain't finna ask you for nothing, bro. And I never asked them for nothing because I'm like, I'm gonna let niggas get comfortable and spend their shit and do what they want to do. I ain't finna just text them like, hey, bro, let me get some money. You know what I'm saying? Because why should I have to text you? I felt like, why should I have to text you that when you know what you told me? So I, I'm I'm chilling. I ain't asking you nothing. You know? Yeah. No, there's a bit that, of... That, this is like that, So... Damn, flies in that motherfucker, but yeah, chat. So basically, this um, this um, this um, he feels obligated, but it's also the other nigga ain't keep his word. It was just like I don't know. It's just money. The money's like you. Well, according to you, the money's gone now. He don't have a million dollars no more. You was fucked up. You ran off with the thirty thousand. You did some fucked up shit. He did some fucked up shit. It's, I ain't gonna lie, man, because I run a blog site. It's boring without y'all niggas, man. Y'all had it jumping for a long time. Yeah. 2019 was, was was fun, man. Like the scam rap era was was a was a cool that shit era. Did not last it's long. in a way where y'all can both sit down like men and pick up where y'all left off. Man, I honestly don't know, bro. Like, no, I don't no know. Blood, no blood was shed. It was just money. You did you did some fucked up shit. He lied and said he was gonna give you fifty thousand. It's y'all even. Yeah, I mean, we damn near even, but I just feel like 
you ain't push me or nothing, and not so much fucked up shit didn't happen. His Instagram had 530k. His shit got deleted. But see, there you go. Pardon, you, what the fuck did that have to do with anything, nigga? What the fuck did that just have to do with anything? Said, pardon, but but look, you you ran you ran off with thirty thousand. You got another ten thousand. You got forty thousand. This nigga really just hurt. I feel like he. I feel like he's really just hurt, bro. Chat because, like he said, he put him on, gave him mad plays when they was broke. I mean, gave him for me, put, brought him to the stool, pushing his shit before they blew up. Had a deep convo before they blew up. Two days later, they blow up, and then funny shit happens. I I think he's genuinely hurt, bro. Cause what the fuck the hit? He ain't pushed me now. His Instagram on the gate now is elite. What the fuck did I have to do with the question, nigga? What Not are you watching at this? I don't know. I found this on a recommendation, nigga. Recommendation. So whatever else we see interesting. And you're still talking about not being pushed. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look. That's exactly what I just said. Look, you you ran you ran off with thirty thousand. You got another ten thousand. You got forty thousand out of the situation, and you're still talking about not being pushed. Oh, say to like, most viewed video. What is it gonna take to satisfy you? And I feel like that's another reason why he was acting like that because I know, I know niggas. Like it's sometimes it's hard to satisfy niggas. Yeah, that that's the reason for sure. But you got forty thousand, and you still talking about man. He didn't push me. You, Bro, you definitely you got forty thousand, but he didn't like the way he got his forty thousand. Chat, I ain't gonna lie. Do you like if my man's is moving funny, and then I just said, "Nah, I'm not fuck with you." And the next day, he gave me ten k, and then and then funny movements continue, nigga. And then I had to rob the nigga for 30K. You think I'm going to be happy? That, like, yeah, I got 40K, but you think I'm going to be happy I had to do that to my mans because he was moving shiesty, nigga? Like, I don't know, bro. Like, that 40K is obviously not going to satisfy the nigga. Because yeah, I got the 40,000 the tankiest way. Yeah, see, he just said it. I had to take 30,000 from him. I ain't want to have to do that. Look, exactly what I just said, bro. Exactly what I just said. That's why I believe this nigga 80%, nigga. 80% I believe this nigga what he's saying. Man, if y'all don't go squash beef, man, this shit's so He just petty, hurt, dog. He just hurt. <laughs> no, nah, I, I, I think that would be, I think that would be, look, man, he, he just like hurt. I said, y'all are even, man, like. Then we got and, the and, same, we got the same manager. from? So. I forgot yeah, where they what said that from. What y'all niggas Our doing, manager man? talking about, man, y'all niggas need to drop Dynamic Duo 3 or something. I'm like, bro, no. <laughs> no, bro, look, see, that's that pride and ego, because. I know it's niggas in his ear, and I know it's niggas in your ear, and now niggas in Detroit picking sides. Oh, they Man, said Detroit. Bro, the money's been spent. You did what you did. He did what he's did. And, and, we, and back when y'all were doing y'all thing, y'all were having fun, too. Yeah. A lot of these niggas ain't having fun. Man, I would like to see that shit happen. Yeah. <clears throat> bro, niggas don't... I feel like just niggas don't gotta have beef, bro. But there's no way you can just come back together, bro, at the late... Bro, nigga, take my thirty k, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, they should just leave. Just I mean, they don't gotta have beef. Just and you don't gotta ever fuck with each other again. Yeah, then I and I and, and I can for se, for sure say since like we ain't been doing no music or doing nothing, shit has definitely died down. Like I've watched my buzz go down. Like I'm not satisfied. That's why I'm doing this interview. This is gonna give me an extra push because my buzz. I watched it go down and his shit too. Like. Niggas was going crazy, and niggas shit went down. Keep it real. Do you and TJ need each other? As far as rap goes. Rap goes. I mean, if you even on some rap shit, it, man. Dude. I almost, I, I, I say yeah. See, that, that's what I'm saying, man. This, I, I feel like this could be fixed, man. I mean, I, I know he's going to watch this interview. Um... And like I said, man, it, it I felt like it was so much y'all didn't accomplish. Like it just out of nowhere, everything just stopped. Nigga, I don't give a fuck yeah, about just this stopped. music part though. It I'm just stopped. Like, like, nigga. Yeah. The story was just interesting to me. Tell my blessings on one hand, but I'm grateful. When I make it home, look to the sky and I say thank you. I peeked the snakes up in the grass, I couldn't play cool. If they put the up and leave, nigga, they was mental.